backyard. The backyard. The backyard. The backyard. The backyard. The backyard woodshop. Today we're going to work on turning this down on the lathe to a decorative plate. So we're going to turn from this block to this. So to get started, we're going to need a wood lathe. So if you have a wood lathe, you're already there. Um, this one has a capacity of about 12 inches, but this piece here uh, will fit on this lathe and how I figure that out is I find the center point and if, since it's a square block I just take a straight edge draw a line and go from corner to corner with the straight edge and then do the opposite two corners and draw a line and that will give me a center mark right here so then I take that center mark line it up with the with the center of the spindle and just see if I've got some clearance and it looks like I do I took a compass and just drew this, the rough circle of how it's going to end up. And uh, the next thing we want to do is we're going to take our two and uh, an eighth bit and uh, just drill a little bit into the cedar. Hit our center point here. And we're going to drill about, well, about five sixteenths or three eighths roughly into the bottom. So here we go. Now we're over here at the bandsaw and we want to just kind of cut this roughly out to a nice circle so that it'll fit on the lathe. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to true it up once we get it mounted on the lathe. So here we go. So that's our rough shape that we need. Got it all mounted up. This feels really solid. That's why I like these uh, lathe chucks. Um, now we're just going to thread this on to the spindle. And you can either spin the disc or you can spin your, your spindle itself. Alright, so now I got the lathe set to the front. And I'm going to leave the tailstock on for a little bit. Just adds a little bit of extra stability while we're doing this. Might speed it up just a little more. And honestly we want to take this down just a little bit. We want it just below center so that this yeah so that this scraping tool is just about center. Getting a little bit of tear out there, but it's not too bad. Um, we just, you know, this is a really soft wood. I don't know if it's the ideal thing for turning, but we're gonna find out together. I like the challenge of. Go ahead and just cut, drilled in another recess in here so that once I'm done, this is actually the bottom of the plate. Once I'm done shaping this, I can turn it around, put it on the chuck and we'll be all set. This is going to be our bottom foot here. We've still got a recess uh, for our uh, chuck to grab and then I've just kind of made a gentle shape out here. So before I turn it around I'm going to go ahead and sand all this to uh, a finished uh, sanding and then I can flip it over and then I won't have to worry about trying to work back here uh, trying to sand this ahead and just applied some finish here to the bottom. Uh, this is just my own little mixture that uh, I've seen a lot of people use. Um, it's just uh, three equal parts of uh, boiled linseed oil, shellac, and denatured alcohol. I just make whip this up and then you uh, 
just shake it up each time apply it to the wood let it dry and uh, it's protected and you just keep building up coats as you go uh, for now I'm just going to do the the one coat just to kind of seal the back end and then we're just going to break free of the chuck like so and now we can use uh, the jaws on the inside to hold it while we cut the rest and you just crank this out until it's held in there and you're all set all right so I've got the plate turned around the opposite way and we're just going to take and start cutting away on this just want to take your time going to shave this down until I get the result that I want. Alright, so I've kind of started really shaping the inside of the plate. Uh, I just use a combination of uh, the scraper for the most part, and then I've got a couple other scrapers with different uh, types of shapes that I use. Uh, I just put a little rounded over bead here just to uh, kind of give it a little decoration. You can do whatever you want to it. I've turned it up a little bit more and basically all it is is just a nice light touch going all the way down. And you just keep cutting that way until you get the shape you want. Alright, so once you have a finish on it and I've got multiple layers on here it's uh, you know like more like a satin but looks really good um, it's very smooth it's, it's it's got a real nice feel to it when you're touching it and uh, now we can take it off of the lathe real quick and I think we're gonna be finished that's the nice thing about a lathe project it does not take long and voila we're all finished i really like the way this turned out i wanted it because it's made out of cedar and i didn't want to go too thin so it's about probably about uh half inch thick or maybe five eighths but i'm really happy how that turned out looks really good thanks for watching i appreciate it and until next time i'll see you in the backyard